My question today is what expectation do we come with when we come to God in prayer? Do we come expecting to encounter his goodness and abundance? Do we come expecting to be filled up with living bread that's life-giving and sustaining? Do we come expecting to be greeted with a loving kiss of a father who is delighted to see us? Do we come expecting to encounter goodness? I know that for me, this is what I should expect, but so often I find hiding in my heart an apprehension that says, what if today he doesn't turn up? What if today he doesn't meet me? What if what I'm facing is too big for him? What if he wants to teach me a lesson by withdrawing his goodness from me? What if he wants to tell me off and tell me to go and think about what I've done? What if he's not good at all? I wonder how many of us hesitate from knocking on the door of heaven from fear of being disappointed or rejected? How many of us have given up seeking what we long for or perhaps we never really even tried in the first place because we can hardly dare to believe that the dream in our heart points to a greater reality. How many of us fall short of asking because we wrongly believe that God is not a good God at all? I want to share a passage with you today and and my prayer is that as I share it with you, God would refresh us, would remind us that he would lodge it deep in our hearts, the truth and revelation that he is a good father. Ask and the gift is yours. Seek and you will discover. Knock and the door will be open to you because every persistent one will get what he asks for. Every persistent seeker will discover what he longs for. And everyone who knocks persistently will one day find an open door. And do you know of any parent who would offer his hungry child when asked for food a plate of rocks instead? Or when asked for a piece of fish, what parent would give his child a snake instead? If you then, imperfect as you are, know how to take loving care of your children and give them what is best, how much more ready is your father to give wonderful gifts to those who ask him? Holy Spirit, I ask that you would transform our minds that we would be able to understand what it means that you are a good, good God. No matter what we've experienced or what we grew up with, transform our understanding of the word Father and give us the courage to persist in our pursuit of you.